What's up, my fellow gamers? I hope you guys are all having a great day today, just full of positivity and happiness, dude. Yeah! Because today we're going to be talking about something that does not make me very happy, and that, of course, is the recent March update from 343 regarding Halo Infinite. Which, you know, I'm just really shocked by 343's ability to even put out an update during these trying times, man. Like, you know, we really owe them a round of applause because let's not forget about this tweet, man. So someone by the name of Team Respawn says, You guys have previously said in the past you would do better about notifying players of outages, but I've yet to see any real progress on this. Why is it so hard to let players know that it's suffering from an outage on at Halo support? And he tags a bunch of 343 employees, to which one replies and says, Hey, my friend, I wasn't a where this was down as I was paying attention to Russia bombing a country of innocent people and going through the emotional response of being a father and thinking about my son growing up in a world of war. I'll be following up on this now. I mean, just truly brave, truly heroic. You know, 343 is truly going above and beyond the call of duty in this situation. Somehow, just like the rest of the world, they still manage to do their job. You know, we truly do not deserve developers like 343 and they really are are setting an example out there for the rest of the video game industry so you know what round of applause for 343 you guys are doing god's work out there but holy fucking shit dude imagine using an international crisis to damage control for the fact that the wonderful development team over at 343 has once again either lied or completely missed the targeted date for something coming out who would have guessed and i guess they can no longer use the whole COVID excuse because i think people are finally wising up to the fact because you know the majority of the earth has had to work remotely for the past two years at this point and they've kind of realized hey I'm just as productive if not more productive working at home than I would be working at work but somehow we're supposed to believe that the video game industry is unable to do that when literally every other industry has been capable of doing that I mean I get like the video game industry is filled with a bunch of sensitive little babies that we have to protect guys you know we must defend game developers at all costs oh my god reddit we did it but I guess people finally realize that sitting at a fucking desk at home on a computer is really not that different from sitting at a fucking desk at work on a computer. So I guess they can no longer use the COVID excuse for delaying shit or not meeting their promises or deadlines. So now they're transitioning to an international crisis to do so because that's a great look. But anyway, moving on to the actual update coming out from 343. Now this update was posted on Halo Waypoint and it is titled Halo Infinite Update March 2022. And let me just tell you guys, if you were hoping that maybe Halo Infinite might make a recovery you know, that dying player base might bounce back at this point. Well, I hate to tell you, you're going to be sadly disappointed because what it looks like we're getting in season two is an absolute fucking joke. Now, I know I'm being harsh on the game, but I was one of the biggest defenders of this game prior to launch. So I feel especially burned in this entire situation. Like the fact that this game is in the state it's in currently is inexcusable by any stretch of the imagination. And I feel like the fact that I defended this game so much before launch makes it even more necessary that I come out now and call out all the bullshit surrounding the current state of this game and just the complete neglect that it's suffered from. I was one of the biggest defenders of this game prior to launch. Now, now, and call out all the bullshit surrounding the current state of this game. So... Legacy Killer HD says this on Twitter. It's that time of year again. Oh God, bro. Legacy Killer HD, AKA Mr. Video Game Industry Bad, every single fucking day is putting out a video saying that Activision is literally going bankrupt. Let's see, hold up. This motherfucker is literally, this is like Reddit energy right here. <laughs> Like, this dude for years hyped up Cyberpunk too, which is absolutely hilarious. Like, this dude sucked the fucking cock of Cyberpunk for literally fucking years. And now he puts out these videos shitting on it. Like, he is so disingenuous, man. It is a fucking joke. This dude is literally one of the biggest grifters on YouTube. Like, look at this shit. Holy crap. Inside Blizzard's Bill Cosby suite leaked. Blizzard halts work. Actually, it was 100 devs that protested. 
Blizzard exposed. Let's go back before that type of shit. Bethesda now sued. Bethesda sued for lying and fraud. <laughs> this is scary. EA, Blizzard, Bungie, and Warner Brothers devs demand boycott. Like, this shit is so fucking stupid. It's like, hold on. Let's go down here. Multiple lawsuits. This lawsuit's huge. Total chaos. Holy crap. The bold... Like, bro, it's all this clickbait shit. It's literally the video game industry bad channel. I can't afford this It's just shit. pitiful, man. Like, it's literal clickbait. And he literally just sits there and talks about the most mundane shit. It's ironic. Some may know him as Griffin Gaming. Others know him as a discount Leafy. Some may know him as that dude who made a video about them unprovoked. Others look to him as a god and they show endless amounts of support for the effortless dog shit content he puts out. I know this man as the biggest hypocrite I've ever witnessed. After watching a single video from this guy, it was clear to me that this dude lacked originality. He lacked passion, but above all, it was real fucking clear that this dude had some kind of mental deficiency. Griffin loves to tell others that they lack self-awareness, that they're hypocrites, that they need to get some perspective. But you see, Griffin is disconnected from reality. He is a very sad soul, and because of this, it's led him to project many of his insecurities onto others. It's no secret that Griffin's motivation for making YouTube content is solely fueled by money, and he has alluded to this. This dude only cares about views. He will clickbait and drag videos out just to milk that ad revenue, which is ironic considering he has called out others for exhibiting the same strategies. The overwhelming amount of irony in his videos is honestly embarrassing, as he often attempts to delegitimize a person's argument by highlighting specific qualities or statements a person has made, but Griffin also betrays the exact same kind of behavior in his videos. Now, we can't be too hard on Mr. Griffin. He is just a confused man trying to find his way. I believe someday he will get there. But judging by his lack of knowledge and his embarrassing lack of ability to comprehend basic concepts and beliefs, I think it is going to be a very long time before this man begins showing any signs of intelligence. Griffin, suck my dick, my dick, my dick. So honestly, I don't even know where to start with this pathetic man. So you are looking for any little thing to bitch about to make a 15 minute video so you could load that motherfucker up with mid-roll ads and maybe make a couple dollars here and there with the hopes that it'll get put into the algorithm. Like, I know what it is, bro. So you could load that motherfucker up with mid-roll ads. So you could load that motherfucker up with mid-roll ads. So you could load that motherfucker up with mid-roll ads. So you could load that motherfucker up with mid-roll ads.